What's up, Warrior Babes? Hey, everybody. Mickey here, and welcome. Sorry, my allergies are like getting the best of me here. But we're here live for our Warrior Babe live Q&A. Let's go. Welcome, everybody. I'm super excited to be here live with you guys. We can do this without my uh, allergies taking control right now. <sighs> hey, Dawn, what's up? Happy, happy Warrior Bee Wednesday. Let's go, guys. Love it. All right, we're here for a live Q&A. Let's do this without my allergies like taking control. Hello, Gail. Hello. Hi, guys. If As you guys are commenting... Oh, thank you. I feel fine. It's just my allergies, like, like they, like, get the best of everything. Hi, Janet. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, babes. Yeah, I'm literally doing it from bed, too. <laughs> my allergies can cause, like, a, a ridiculous headache to come on. So we're just going to do this live Q&A from my bed right now. Because I love you all and I want to show up. So I'm here. Hey, hey. All right. So as you guys have questions, leave them here in the comment section. Um, as you guys are joining into our Q&A, say, hey, what's up? Let me know that you guys are here and that I can see your name showing up here. And uh, the more that we comment, too, the more that it, it, it stays at the top of our thread. So all the other babes can see that we're, hey, we're live. Nikki's live. We can join in. We can ask her questions. All that kind of jazz, all right? Yeah, Claritin D, but also Zeratech works for me too as well. Zeratech, the Zeratech. <laughs> Zeratech works for me and also like some sleep too. Will do me wonders. Um, hey guys, hey, hey everybody. Okay, so as you guys are joining, first of all, Last week, we had like 185 new babes join our community, which I love you guys so much. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm so glad that I can be of help to you and your journey moving forward. Dive into the Blast Off emails. Dive into the content that we have here inside the Revolution app. Familiar, familiarize yourself with the language that I use and you will be on point, babes. You will be on point. All the new babes, welcome to, literally, there's thousands of you, thousands of you who are getting toned and becoming stronger, more confident versions of themselves. Worry, babes, we're strong, as strong as new sexy. I love it. I love it. And you guys are awesome. Hey. Ah, you suck out of work so you could do it early. Ah, no, I'm not sick. It's just my allergies are insane in the morning. Yeah, Zertic D is amazing. Okay, so here we are. Let's dive into some questions because I see one popping in right now. So... How do I feel skipping a workout if you're sick? So skipping today feels so guilty. So the way that I look at skipping a day when you're sick is you've got to let the body heal. Strength training in and of itself is an added stressor that you put onto your body. And if you go lift you're adding more stress in that aspect to your body. So you want to allow your body to heal. Like you have to allow your body to heal. Because if you if you push it to where you can't allow it to heal, then you're adding more stress to your body. You're adding more time for it to recover. And it's going to take a, lo a longer more time to recover when it can't recover quick enough. If you allow your body to recover in that time when it's sick, then you will come back feeling stronger. 
awesome. I started hypertrophy Friday. Great. I love to hear that, babe. All the new workouts are live. You guys know that from last week. So if you guys are feeling some type of way this week, that's great. Your body's still adjusting to it, um, which is awesome. Like If you're feeling sore, great. If you're feeling sore after one day, great. That's good. <sighs> so many questions. First off, there are tons of comments going about endos doing only steady steady cardio first. What is your take on this? Yeah, if you're an endo, more than likely you're overweight and you have more weight to lose. So instead of like, oh, I'm going to dive into nutrition, I'm going to dive into workouts, let's just start you off on honing in on your workouts and getting the, the workout, the, the cardio in, and you focusing on that first and then diving into everybody else. So, yes, I agree on that. Like focusing on cardio first and then honing into everything else. What is your take on this? Because I thought HIT and intervals were best to boost the metabolism. Also, I'm I'm a fan of doing. I'm a fan of juicing. My previous coach didn't want me to log this towards macros. Look, if you're tracking juices, that counts. Like, you're tracking carbs that are coming from the juices that matter. And a lot of those carbs is probably most likely simple carbs. So, just go over my carbs and I do juices and log it. Dude, log everything. Like, honestly, Denise, this is going to be a perfect example for you as to, like, what you're actually doing and what you're feeding your body. And that's a good indicator for you to be like, oh, my God, these juices are full of sugar. Or they're full of fruit, right? They're going to give you an indicator of where you're at. And the cleanses can be so much. They give me so much carb-wise because of food or because of carbs, which is fine. But you're not getting the fats and the proteins that you need. Workouts is some other badass. Love them. I love them. Okay. So getting my schedule straight. And so there is a minimum time fasted if an overweight if an overnight fasted like three hours or something with your meals. Yeah, if you're eating your meals at like seven and eight, nine, ten, and you're going to bed, fine. Fine. If you're eating at 8, 9, 10, 11, and your meal's at 8 o'clock at night, it's fine. More so, the morning is going to come and you're going to feel like, oh my God, I'm starving. I need to eat. And when, you, when your body is telling you that, eat. Eat. Your metabolism needs that food or else. I mean, we can get into scientific terms here and you can start tapping into like fat stores and other energy stores that you don't want to don't want to tap into. So when your body's hungry, eat. Just try and tell you, hey, look, I need I need some food. I need some fuel. Like let's eat some food right now. All right, I took the quiz to get my macros and started tracking my food before I started, and and I'm eating the same calories. I want fat loss. Dude, you could be eating the same calories, yet be in a deficit with macros. So if the calories are putting you in a deficit, great, Vanessa, great. You want to be in that deficit. You could be eating the same calories in a different 
macro distribution could be happening to you. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. Oh man. <sighs> You know what I mean? So like you could be eating the same calories, but carbs could be here, protein could be here, fat could be here, and, and a different macro distribution is being given to you. Meaning different energy is being expended expanded throughout your body and you're gonna break it down differently. Okay. How do we track our macros when we bake a dessert slash meal? How do that sometimes cooking foods can change and the carb of food, but I don't know how Jack it. So whatever ingredients you use, Scarlett, whatever ingredients you use for that meal, track it. Whatever ingredients you use for that meal, track it. Kimberly, wow, babe. I love seeing your name here. Again, I started Hypertrophy Friday. So Friday and Monday, my workout was amazing. Today, I went in excited and ready to go. I was so much weaker than I was previous to workouts. Guys, yeah, so you could feel like a million bucks going into a workout. And you could also feel like not a million bucks going to work out. The thing is, is that whatever we is going to create that muscle to mind connection, it doesn't necessarily matter about the weight number. It does not matter about the weight number. So if you are pushing like Whatever weight you were pushing two days ago, and you go in the gym and it's not that same weight, it doesn't matter. As long as you are creating connection to that muscle and you feel that muscle working, then you are doing something. All right? Sorry, my allergies are insane right now. So, yeah, I was eating between 600 and 800 most days and not dieting, just normal eating. Yeah, you could focus on calories, you guys, and it could be I'm eating 600 to 1700 and eating whatever I want to. But when it comes to macros, you're, even, you're distributing energy to, to your body differently. Protein breaks out differently. Like the overall number of calories does not matter. The way your body breaks out macros, fats, protein, fats, and carbs is different. You're welcome. Okay, good. I thought it makes sense. Dude, <laughs> I know. I'm not sick. My allergies are intense. My allergies, like, <laughs> when I say narcissa, when, like, when I say that they're, like, they, they can be so bad that my whole head gets congested. So, so I did this thing. I was supposed to go back to hits, but when I saw the hypertrophy workouts, I could not resist. It looked so awesome and more awesome. More supersets, so I decided to do it. One more month. I hope it doesn't backfire. So the way that you are, babe, if you're in a hypertrophic state and you're doing the power lifts for so long that you're doing them, um, it doesn't matter as long – like, if you do the hypertrophic works for another month, it's okay because you're going to switch into the hist. So it's okay that you're doing what you're doing. <laughs> I know that this workouts – this month's workouts are, like, like amazing. I know that because I created them, but it's okay that you're doing that. You can do hit fasted. Do not work out fasted. What's up? Joining in, I've been out in the gym for two months. Okay, well, babe, welcome. Get back to it. That's what it comes down to. Get back to it. 
I love it. Feeling good. Just listening to Nikki. Ready to hit it again. My body felt amazing last time. Awesome. I love it, babes. And then Raven and Kirstie joined. What's up, you guys? <laughs> Any more questions, babes? Where would you where would you recommend going for measuring body fat? So yes, you can do it at home. I recommend just measuring the same parts of your body that you measured last week, that you measured the week before. And that can be hard sometimes trying to measure the same part of your body. What I also recommending recommend is finding a scale that will measure your weight, will measure your body fat, will measure all of this kind of stuff. And it may not be true. Like I have a scale here. I brought it <laughs> with me to Bali and it says I'm 28% body fat. But honestly, the only thing I care about is seeing how my weight fluctuates. Like there's different aspects that you can measure that are really good for you. If it's measuring your body fat, if it's measuring your weight, if it's measuring your inches, then whatever it is, stick to that and be consistent in measuring that. Okay? If it's in body, okay, I'm going to get in body every week. Like find what your tool is and measure it. Thank you, babe. What's up, Brooke? Good. I'm glad that you're loving the freaking new workouts. And I love the hearts right now. You guys are awesome. Okay. To do hit fasted, if not first in the AM, how long after a meal? So if you do hit fasted, you want to have a meal immediately. Ah, hearts. I love you all. When you do hit fasted, have a meal right after. What's up, guys? Oh, Raven, thank you. My allergies are just insane. And when they're insane, they're pretty insane. <laughs> so I'm cool. I'm good. I just, my, I, I just like my head needs to be rested on the pillow right now because my allergies are insane. So if I have 20 to 35 protein markers left at night, should I drink a protein shake or something? Yeah. You can drink a protein shake, babe. That's 25 grams. But look, stop tracking as you go. Like I can tell that that's because you're tracking as you go. Like track the night before and your whole day is planned and your macros are planned, proteins here, proteins where you need to have it. Like don't track as you go, track, prepare yourself. So, all right, Stephanie, I get up at 4.15 and hit the gym at 4.30. I don't have time to get food in half an hour before I work out. I eat, drink, protein, shake while I work out. Is that okay? No. Like, you – look, guys. I get it. You guys are early risers, and there's some of you that, like, have never eaten that early before in your life. But if you could train your body to be like, hey, I'm eating a rice cake and a protein shake on my way to the gym, let me tell you, what an absolute game changer it's going to be with your energy inside the gym. So as you're eating all the way to the gym, do it. Have it. Have a rice cake. Have an energy. Have a protein shake. Because 30 minutes into your workout, it's going to start kicking in. You're going to be like, oh, my God, I feel great. I feel amazing. I need to do this more often. And you are going to do it more often. 
Hey, Nikki, I brought a, I bought a weight belt. Oh my God, what a difference. This has helped so much. My back, thank you. Yeah, dude. Oh, you don't need a weight belt to lift weights, but if you have a tight back, like for me, like I do a lot of sitting now. <laughs> I will be bluntly honest. I do a lot of sitting at the computer nowadays and my hamstrings get so fucking tight that a weight belt has saved me tremendously. Tremendously. So there have been a few arguments over hit. Not recommend for endomorph. Endomorphs, endomorphs do better with steady state. Y'all do better with steady state. Do the fucking steady state. <laughs> Once you start losing weight, you can put in hit. You can put in, you know, doing these thirty minutes, forty minutes. I love, I love the, I love the hearts because you guys can tell when I'm being real. Like I'm being real. Like guys, endomorphs do better with steady state, so do the steady state. What? What, Janet? What? I've lost four pounds and zero proof half of my waist since going back to cut. Ooh, ah, ha. babe, you are exactly what is supposed to happen when you strength build for so long and you get the results that you've gotten. And then you start cutting and you've lost four pounds and a half in your waist. Like, get ready for more. Get ready for more. Thank you for inspiring me to get up and get a workout in. I know where I want to go and you get, good, good. That's all I hope for. You guys are like, like listen to me, Take put the work in and you guys will get there. You just have to show up for yourself on a daily basis. Like, showing up for yourself is like 80% of what needs to happen. <laughs> Legit. So, I started making my oatmeal the night before and getting ready. Huge change in lifting. Yes. I love that my words are taking effect. When you have a pre-workout meal, your energy, because your body is taking the time to digest that meal and provide you the energy it needs to work out, game changer. It's a fucking game changer. <laughs> All right, so if you're an endomorph but don't have weight to lose, Babe, if you're an endomorph and don't have weight to lose, you got to do the calculator again. Because if you're an endomorph, all I picture with endomorphs is, I'm sorry, but, like, you have weight to lose if you're an endomorph. Or you have, like, a diet-induced body from, like, all the diets you probably have ever tried before, and you have weight to lose. So if you're an endomorph and don't have weight to lose, you probably resemble more of an ectomorph inside of an endomorph body. And you probably need to do some steady state cardio on type of hypertrophy. I love it. Jill, you used to work out fasted, but then you started incorporating a shake and just changed your whole performance inside the gym. Yeah, babe. I recommend inside of your app there's a there's a there's a video on supplements, guys. Like I recommend specific protein powders for you to use. Whey isolates, whey isolate. Make sure your protein says whey isolate. Those are the best proteins to be taking before and after meal. Janet, <laughs> words cannot express how excited I am for you. You have literally listened 
And guys, listen up. She has literally listened. I've barely been a coach to her. You have literally listened to everything that I have provided you. And you've taken it and ran with it. Yeah. I want to see more likes and more hearts. If you guys listen to what I'm telling you to fucking do, your results will be in in fucking sane. More likes, more hearts. Let's go. Like, being honest and real, get out of your own way. Get out of your mindset of what you've tried before. Yeah, let's go. More likes. Come on. <laughs> more loves. Get out of your head of what you've done and tried before and listen to what I am telling you to do. Janet and I have barely, I love seeing it. I love it. Let's keep going. <laughs> Okay, hearts, legs, hearts, legs. Janet and I have barely talked. Barely talked. She's the Blueprint member. And she's literally just been like, I'm doing this. Nikki says to do this. Okay, let's do it. She's gotten real uncomfortable in the in the building phase of, of putting on weight. But she put on five pounds of muscle. So, guys... Macros can feel daunting. Eating a lot more can feel daunting. But when it comes to changing your body composition, guess what, guys? You have to eat food. <laughs> you have to fucking eat food. Yes, new workouts on point. Guys, I love you. Look at this. Come on, keep going with the hearts and the likes. I love seeing it. It just fuels me more to be real and honest with you what it takes to actually build it, like to build your body. Like you guys are here, my lowest level program. You are getting all of my tours and tools and resources that I give to everybody. Just take it and go with it. Keep fitting into the likes and the comments. I love it. I love it. Yes, Dawn. It works. Trust the freaking process. You may not like what the results are not showing you or are showing you two weeks into it. You may not like it. Just fucking keep going. Just keep going. I promise you. If you keep up with it, if you stay consistent, if you show up for yourself, the results are going to happen. So keep fucking going. I've lost four inches off my waist since I... <laughs> ah, Let's go, babes. I love it. I love it. Keep fucking going. Keep showing up. Keep the likes and the hearts coming. You guys have literally not stopped. I love you all so much. And on that note, I threw my skin in the closet. Yo, guys, and also, too, before I, I'm going to tune out because my allergies are just, like, insane right now. But before I tune out, remember that, yeah, dude, yeah, correct. No way to lose, just the life of a dieting. So, remember as you're on this journey, that scale is going to increase. <laughs> that scale is going to tell you you're gaining weight. But you're gaining muscle. You're changing your body composition. Tell yourself that every single time that you step on the scale and you see a number increase. Oh well, the weight's up. I'm gaining muscle. I'm changing my body composition. I like to see the scale increasing. Get uncomfortable. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. <laughs> I love you all so much. <laughs> Literally, the likes and the hearts have not stopped. <laughs> They're just showing up in the corner like heart, heart, heart. I love you all so much. And just literally listen to what I'm telling you. Listen to me over and over again. Immerse yourself in what I'm sharing with you. Results are proven. Results are inevitable. I love you all so much. Keep up the good work. Keep up showing up for yourself. Like, 
and trust the process. Trust it, babes. Bye. <laughs> I'm tuning out. My allergies are crazy. I have a pounding headache right now. I love you all so much. Keep up the good work. Bye, guys.